In this video, uh, I will be talking about how we can process and analyze the natural language. So, so the topic for this video are, so we will be discussing about what is syntactic analysis, why it is required, what are the different tasks that can be done as part of syntactic analysis. So let's see what is syntactic analysis first. Syntactic analysis help us to understand the natural language. Okay, so basically we have the data in the form of a raw input uh, that is the plain text data and uh, we want to make our systems to understand that human input text. So for doing that we need to perform the syntactic analysis on the data. So syntactic data analysis is also known as syntax analysis or the parsing. So where you know our task is to analyze the you know the structure of the text or analyze the whether our sentence or the text is grammatically correct or not so we use syntactic analysis to inform the logical meaning of certain given sentences or part of sentences so syntactic analysis used to identify that whether the sentence is grammatically or logically correct or not so it is used to identify the syntactic and the logical meaning of the sentences so for doing that syntax analysis also make use of grammar rules so it makes use what are the uh, natural language grammar rules that you know are available uh, so for to check whether the sentence is grammatically correct or not so it check by on the basis of certain grammar rules grammatical rules are applied on categories or group of words or on the individual words so applying and the checking of the sentences can be done at all the level whether it is a word level or whether it is a you know group of word that will combine form a sentence or you know a complete you know set of paragraph or a, a complete document so the grammatical rules are applied at each level so let's see an example so if we talk about grammar rules so i had taken very basic example of grammar rule suppose we want to check you know whether the sentence contains the subject and predicate clause or not subject clause represented whether the sentence contains noun phrase and predicate clause uh, represent whether the sentence contains verb phrase or not so noun phrase and verb phrase are the part of the grammar where it uh, where our sentence uh, involve a noun in a phrase or when our sentence contains a verb in a phrase so that represent the subject and predicate clause so since this is our rule one and we want our sentence to pass this rule in order to perform the uh, in order to pass the test of whether the sentence is grammatically correct or not. So let's see an example. <clears throat> let's see a sentence. So we have a sentence which says the dog went away. Okay. So the looking into the sentence, uh, we can say that this sentence is, you know, logically correct as it is representing some sense that the dog, there is a dog who went away. Okay. Now let's check whether the rule one is applicable on this sentence or not. So as you can say the word the dog is the noun phrase and the went away is the part of a verb phrase where the word dog represent the noun and the word uh, went away <coughs> the away represent the verb okay so on the basis of this this sentence qualify the rule one similarly you know there are lots of uh, other rules that can be applied on a sentence given the requirement and the condition the text is there Let's see another example. So this is another sentence which say that school go boy. Okay. So now we are checking whether you know uh, on the basis of the grammar and the logical reasoning. So looking into the sentence. So this sentence doesn't making any sense because it is not a clear uh, structure of the sentence. Uh, so we can say that this sentence is grammatically incorrect because this doesn't represent any perform you know validated structure and also this sentence doesn't give any logical sense okay so logically this sentence or this example is not meaningful so we can disqualify this sentence as part of our syntactic analysis so let's look uh, what are the some of the tasks that we perform as part of understanding the natural language text in the in our natural language processing so we do part of the speech tagging where we try to split the text into words and then we uh, annotate whether the, the type of word is a noun or verb or adjective or so. So in PUS tagging, we, we do 
or the uh, uh, part of speech tagging whether it is a noun verb adjective or adverb uh, so i will be covering all these parts in more details in our later videos sentence breaking so this is also the part of our syntax analysis where you know we represent or we break a paragraph or a document into set of sentences on the basis of the boundaries so what are the sentence boundaries are there full stop so on the basis of the full stop and the end of the sentence the sentence has been break we do morphological segmentation morphological means it is the study of determining the words so what we do we divide the words into morphemes or means we check for the meaning of individual word in the sentence stemming so stemming is basically you know we try to cut the infected words in from the root form means you know if there is a word like uh, i likes i like i liked so these words has been stamped to the word to the form like okay so this is used because you know if, if we are if we are trying to perform some analysis on the text okay and suppose we want to understand what is the specific text is talking about so we try to you know remove the words that are having the base forms and we try to convert them into the root form so that that uh, so that those words will try to increase the count and also help in determining the context of the document or the text lemmatization lemmatization is also like a stemming but in this in the stem in the lemmatization we reduce the inflected uh, forms to of a word into the single form or in there for an easy analysis in stemming we remove those words okay but in lemmatization we reduce the forms like so we reduce the word like is to be uh, and uh, the words that is contain their ba you know base form we try to convert them into their normal form we'll see what lemmatization do we'll see what stemming will do in more detail in our example later parsing parsing is one of the uh, you know important part of syntax analysis so here in parsing we try to check whether the sentence is grammatically correct or not so to do that we try to build a tree uh, tree uh, so tree can be built in two forms one is top down approach and bottom down bottom down approach so on the basis of the tree that has been created based on the grammatical structure or the grammatical grammatical rules we'll try to identify whether the sentence is systematically or syntactically correct or not so all these uh, tasks helps to understand the text in the natural language so these are all the part of our syntactic analysis so i hope i had given you some knowledge about syntactic analysis what is it so we'll cover these more details in my later sections the next i will be talking about another part or another technique that helps to understand the text in natural language processing that is syntactic semantic analysis so we'll see what is semantic analysis in the next video so thank you so much for listening